In February, the Director of Public Prosecutions studied investigations into the misappropriation of thousands of iron sheets meant for the people of Karamoja, a saga that sucked in several legislators and government officials. Today, the DPP Jane Frances Abodo says she has concluded investigations into the saga and the files are now with the police. So, this week we are bringing a close to the iron sheets uh, cases. We asked if any more arrests have been done in this regard. Not, not really. Uh, maybe, maybe one or two if the investigations are complete. Abodo acknowledged that there have been parallel investigations between the DPP and the IGG's office. Our, actually, our investigations are on receipt of the iron sheets. That's where our investigations is. But at some point, I think we're going to to have a meeting point because then they, there's going to be a meeting point, especially when we go to now uh, investigating what the funds that were used, if at all we reach there. But if, but we have done these investigations together with the IGG before. Her call came as she formally handed over 42 vehicles to state prosecutors drawn from hard to reach districts to help in their work. So we want to say thank you to the government of Uganda for the support given to the office of the DPP. This just shows how much they value us, how much Article 120 means to this country. Responding to this gesture, Justice Minister Nobat Mao promised to protect state prosecutors against those who claim to be working for the state. If anybody comes to your office claiming to be from state house or from anywhere, Tell them in no uncertain terms that you can always meet in court. Because that's where prosecution is done. Prosecution is not done at ODPP. Raymond Tamale, NTV.